go graduate. Yeah, let's do that. Uh First full day here. I am so tired still. I'm at the hotel breakfast. I came down here before my mom and Nick because I just want to sit on my computer and finish some things, but I forgot my earphones. I'm drinking four shots of espresso and almond milk because I am so tired. But I'm just gonna sit and finish up some work. Her English breakfast. I always like English breakfast yeah. Yeah, in the UK. Nick's making his plate now. Yeah. A truly British, British breakfast. <laughs> Try some potatoes. I wish they had hash browns. Do they know it? And I love pineapple. We got some breakfast and it's oh, Nick's I'm graduation day. So we gotta eat quick and then Nick has to go pick up his cap and gown. Nick's eating beans on toast. Wait, actually, I, I was kind of curious to try that, but I forgot. These beans are so good. I only tried a bit of British beans, but never really like a beans on toast. Just cut off the piece for yourself. Trying beans on toast. It's like a, like a sweet ketchup. Look, Nick's vlogging for TikTok. We got some sweet stuff to try. We got porridge. I put all the fruits and stuff on one side because I know Nick doesn't like. Some yogurt and then we got this. I have a hot take. Oats are better. No, I like the texture of this better. I like oats, oats. better. Now let's try the yogurt. Okay. Just as it's yogurt. fruit yogurt. But honestly, the best part is the pineapple. I love pineapple. I made a very obvious no face. Let's try whatever this is. We don't know. I want the least fruits possible. Like, I'm so looks confused like, you know, what this is. Just I got a headache from eating fruits. <laughs> what? That's Shaking. it for breakfast. My hands are doing like this because of fruits. I just don't like it. Anyways, that's it for breakfast. Time to lock in. And then Jessica. <laughs> That's more Australian. I'm yeah, that Australian. really is. Nick's going to pick up his gown, so he's like waiting for his Uber. We all got ready for the grad. I'm wearing this dress and a suit and a sweater because it's cold. <laughs> Nick's all dressed up. Are you ready? Uh, now I'm ready. Cute. You look good. That's on the left. Turns out there was I'm a reception ready. for the grad and we missed it just like we missed Richie's reception for his grad. Ooh. Except Richie's reception well, was after the graduation. And also, Richie. And we just left. For me. Let's go graduate. Yeah, let's do that. Aww. We're gonna go into the Cardiff market. I think last year I vlogged this. We came and got Welsh cakes, which is like a Welsh pastry thing. And called? there's like so many little food stands. Oh, wait, wait. the flowers. Part of Bakestone. Oh, it's so cute. There's like the longest line ever to get these Welsh cakes. Let's try, it's fresh. So good. 10 out of 10. You're getting Nick's commentary because he's on a call with my dad. Welsh cakes are such simple ingredients, but I don't know how they make it taste different. Like, it's just like flour and water and stuff, but it tastes so good. There's also this. It's like a scone. I love scones, so let's try. Welsh cake is better, but the scone is really good. Vintage bookstore. There's like comics and books. <laughs> This side is like all restaurants, I guess. These were my favorite flowers growing up. There's like this adorable little tiny park. It's like so tiny, but it's so cute. Look at all the jelly cats. If you watched my New York vlog, you would know that anytime we saw a store with jelly cats, I don't we would know what go they in. Are. They're like stuffed animals. This. They're so cute. Look, they have a watermelon. So cute, but it is a purse. They have bok choy, yeah. radish. Yeah. Nick, look. An espresso or a latte. Nick, look. Welsh Cake Appreciation Society. I'm in this like cute little record type store. Nick and Mama getting a sim. It's kind of 
sad. Okay, we took a little bit of detours and now we're finally going yeah, to the we castle to, get to take Mama pictures. Sam. I went into HMV. It was so cute. They had so many little plushies and little things and I wanted to get something, but the line was too long. <laughs> Lines are so long everywhere and honestly, we're like rushing because we do have to make it to the grab. Going into the castle, every year when we come, there's this like festival stage and it ruins the view in my opinion. So we're at Cardiff Castle. Apparently inside this castle is like a Victorian style decoration with like Victorian style furniture, beds, living rooms, whatever in there. But we're gonna go up to this castle and take pictures because it's so pretty. eerie voice playing what is this <laughs> this is so scary what is this i feel like i traveled back in time past the castle it's all the way there oh my gosh we entered from we no entered from we walked all the way from here all the way here we're still not finding how to get to the part of the castle where i am determined to take pictures and she better hurry because like 30 minutes 30 minutes there. i have to be there so and the really place i'm checking up. now on google maps to see how far oh, look it is. how beautiful this is i mean yeah look at that if we had time we would take more pictures here and look it's like oh my gosh the yeah there's a moat yeah 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 you're a mechanical engineer <laughs> <laughs> We're going up. Whoa, it's so steep. Whoa, we made it. Wow. The roof is gone. Wow, Jessica. Bye, see you at the grad. We made it to the grad arena. We're sitting pretty far, but like it's at least a direct view and an elevated surface. So like we'll see everything. The stadium is filling up. I'm so excited to watch Nick graduate. So happy that he's gonna get to have like his grad moment. We walked all around the city and everyone was like congratulating him. And it's so sweet, honestly, cause like all the graduates just walk around the city and everyone's like congratulating them. And like, I don't know, it's very hard. Also. And also, unlike AUB where I graduated, they divide the graduation into multiple days so each faculty has their own grad. My grad was like six hours long, so honestly, that's so much better. He showed up literally at like 30 minutes before the grad starts. I had to show up like three hours before the grad starts. Today, we celebrate the extraordinary achievements of students in two of our schools. They started calling the names, but people are cheering so loud you can't hear anything. Now they're announcing the engineering students. I'm literally speaking to the camera because it's so loud. Nicholas Roger Karin. This is for the graduates to say thank you to their friends, families and supporters. On the count of three, let's hear it for our supporters. One, two, three. I'm going to give you a chance to redeem yourself. Can you please hear it? For your family, friends and supporters, let's hear it. It's like, where's Waldo, like, looking for Nick? Mabadook! We are yeah. Karim! Yeah. Yeah. Nicholas Karim! How was the, the feeling walking on stage? Honestly, I blanked out the second I stepped on the stage. It was acting on instinct. <laughs> no, but it was so cute. I loved your wave. What I realized from watching all the other people that were going up on the stage is there are three places you need to look. Oh, no, more. Four. The chance in front of you, you have to bow your cap to. Then the audience, and then there's a camera in front that's live streaming, and they switch between the audience and the live yeah. streaming camera. And then there was also my professor who I had Literally to for my wave grad, to. I did not know where the camera was, so I accidentally looked at a completely wrong camera, and literally I'm like. So I just knew this way, this way, this way, and I just like did a bunch of random stuff well, in between. You did, you did good. It was cute. <laughs> came to get some food after the grad. We're at this place called Oaxaca. It's a Mexican food place and it's really good. So this is what we're starting with. Some prawns and tacos and we got some nachos. 
and we're waiting for everything else. I'm gonna try to go to Pandora and see if they have a charm for whales because I've been collecting charms. Nick has to give back his robe. Uh, it's gone. All my privileges vanish away. Gone. <laughs> Wait, did they give you your alumni pin? Oh yeah. I'm like literally vlogging in breadcrumbs because my camera's about to die. Nick went and returned to his cap and gown and now we're at the mall, but everything closes here at like eight max, like most seven, eight. So I wanna check Pandora and see if they have any charms for whales. I got a Pandora charm with a crown. This crown is for the Prince and Princesses of Wales, Kate Middleton or William. I don't know really much about the royal family, but anyways. And then in London, I'll get a London one. Oh, you scared me. Oh my God. You scared me. I got this, a crown for the Prince and Prince of Wales. Prince, Prince, and Prince and Prince of Wales. For the Prince and Princess of Wales. We're out in the town. Going to get some drinks. We're going out to the pubs, the true British experience to celebrate Nick's grad. And yeah. honestly, we're just gonna walk till we find the nicest pub. I, I think or the I know which pub, pub we're gonna go to, but like we'll which? see. It's like a pub that has right in front of it Cardiff Castle. But hey, we might find someone somewhere else in Spain. Honestly, it's just so crazy oh, to me that we went from like the hottest hut in Beirut to like sweaters. wearing sweaters and jackets. And oh, honestly, like this is the weather that I feel like I am the happiest in. Because it's like not freezing, but in it's summer not... specifically. If you're here in winter, yeah. you hate it. No, no, I'm talking about summer right now, exactly this weather. It's like fall, you wear and I like love a fall. Sweater. Hey, look at the seagull stealing food. I guess there was like a, a festival right now. That's why all these people are leaving the Cardiff Castle. Everyone's dancing. Oh. The dilemma that we have is I lost my bag. I got some little gifts from this shop here earlier today. call the police and file a police report for a stolen item and so we wanted to go check but the castle is closed and then i look the castle is open many people are here so maybe my bag is still there but i highly doubt because there was just a festival in there right now I put my hair in heatless curls I just want to remove my makeup and go to bed that's it for our second day in Cardiff and our last day we're leaving tomorrow to London the graduation is over unfortunately I'm so tired I want to sleep we just got back from the pub bar whatever it was pretty close to the hotel so that was good and now I'm gonna sleep bye see you in the next vlog